Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Tuesday night. Hopefully you're still having some week. A great night so far. As for me, though, well, I had to take some time to play this a little bit more offline. Quite a bit more offline. And I learned a few things, actually, which is why we're starting a little bit early here. We're going to be playing more Battle Chasers Night War, and hopefully we can actually make some progress. I was honestly expecting last stream to make a lot of progression, but that didn't happen. We got stomped. And that is always a sign of a good art of... It's, it has a sign of some good design and sign of also, you know, some potential bad design. And... Looking back on the last stream, I realized part of the issue was uh, me. I was very conservative compared to uh, I was over conservative, and it didn't help. I was also trying to use a character I didn't really know how to use yet, because I really wanted to show off Alamon. I like the character Alamon, really, really cool. But I think he's definitely more of a um, more of a support. If anything. He's definitely more of a support character. So you basically have Nolan, you have uh, Calabretto, and you have Alamon are basically your supports. They can do damage. Each of them can actually do quite a bit of damage. If they really want. But they're more built towards... Uh, they're more built towards... Uh, they basically have the support abilities. And I think that's like... The huge difference is just because you have a character that can do B support does not mean they should actually be like uh doesn't mean they're like your instantly your damage dealers. But a couple of things here, why don't I just go off here? I learned a few things. So first thing I want to show off would be the uh blacksmith here. So I always thought like, oh you could only craft green items. And I used to, and I realized like oh you can decrease your chance, but you can still create the item if you really actually wanted to. It would just be a forty percent. You know, be like we're showing out here. We just use one. We take out one ore for the storm collar gun here. I can only make. Uh, I only have forty seven percent. But obviously, if you have all the mats, great. You can increase it. But I realized uh, just flipping around with it. Notice how the bar turns blue. If it gets up to two hundred percent. It becomes a rare item. And because I have so much mithril ore from the last stream, if it goes up all the way up to 300%, it becomes an epic quality item. Which is really good, actually. That is actually really cool to learn. And the same actually also applies uh, with enchantments as well. You can have enchantments here. I can actually... So basically, any of these items here, I'll probably be crafting and such. I can now just simply make them into uh, a higher quality. So I can actually turn those. I can just make epic items, epic armor and weapons, which is what I'll probably be aiming to do now. So there's definitely now a lot more of a use of just simply um, of taking the time and crafting all the materials, because that's one thing I definitely have been. Um, Slacking off on. Interrupted my work. Or instead of, or simply like buying the items uh, straight from Grimbeard himself, which is one thing I was kind of was doing. Who are you? I am back to. I also had to make a huge investment in farming up some money here. I only have one thousand eight hundred fifty gold, uh, but I was actually doing a lot of crafting and selling that armor. Uh, just to actually uh, make just have enough money because I was unlocking like the next set or next tier of enchantments and stuff because they actually appeared as I was uh, leveling up. So I did a little bit of leveling. Uh, did a little bit of leveling with Gully and I chose Red Monica. I think if anything from here on out, <clears throat> I'll pretty, probably stick with these three as our main characters from here on out just simply because you still have to put in a lot of time and effort to actually level up the characters because leveling up in this game can take quite a while so you can see here basically now I have uh, now I just have uh, everything all my guys are decked out in blues with the exception of this this is a green here easily the blues and purples now which is really really good I also took some time 
and probably actually should do this real quick. I actually bought, I actually finally uh, sold all my items that allowed me to buy, uh, allowed me to buy uh, items. What I actually ended up buying from uh, the collector here was actually all these little tomes here. So what I ended up buying was uh, some tomes that gave me perk points for my entire party and uh, the ones for Calibretto, Gully, and Red Monica. Which is really helpful because now they actually have a lot more uh, a lot more perk points I can actually mess around with. There's definitely a, you know, definitely a huge reason to actually, you know, collect money and that actually gives a huge incentive. Um, to redo dungeons over and over again, even if you're not getting um, much experience from them. It also gives you a reason to actually play all the other characters and such as well, like if you want to level up the other characters. So like now I have 55 perk points, or 52 perk points with uh, Red Monica. So it's huge, huge difference. Yes. Also I still have a couple hunts here, so I have the voice from below. So apparently, now you know it's like, okay, this is at your level here. I mean, this probably should be, Greetings hopefully again. it'll actually be a lot easier now that my characters are actually leveled up. Because one downside about having, like, RPGs, sometimes they're just item checks. You know, I'm sure any MMO player is very familiar with that concept. Like, do you have enough gear? Apparently the down the guy down from below is actually right here, but I'm gonna be skipping that just simply because uh, I had to actually apparently I need to actually give him a lot of stuff, and I think if anything, actually no, I do want this. I need all the materials I can get. Definitely a benefit to actually sitting down and collecting all the stuff. I should also show we actually unlocked a couple more abilities. We got the wild shot. Uh, which basically allows her to attack two targets for a lot more auto attack damage. She also got uh, exploit weakness as well. So basically, anytime uh, does a attack, if the target's bleeding or sundered, it'll actually cause another bleed. Definitely a huge benefit. And does in her ambush damage uh, does a lot more damage. The most ideal situation is that you end up actually, um... Just do this. Is that you end up, um... Hitting both targets like that. Also, I... Like I said, I've actually been focused on putting a lot more perks in. Let's see. One downside about Barrier Swing now is that basically, uh, because the health pools are so... Red Monica's health pool is so low compared to everyone else's, she's always gonna get the shield. Isn't exactly the best, but it'll do. Plus, I probably should uh, level up my, uh, first meter before I enter that fight with that guy. I am killing that Gravekeeper. We are doing that hunt before we enter the dungeon. Because I'm petty and I want payback. I want lots of payback. Not appreciate getting my butt whooped in many RPGs. But I will tell you right now, this game is not is definitely I had it under control and now it's more difficult and now it's difficult again. And I think the one thing is that you really have to 
Ooh. Really? You really have to not be afraid to actually spend mana. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. Like, that's the thing, thing's one thing I've learned. You have to now. You know. I realize, like, how very conservative I've been about using mana. Speaking of which, I probably actually should should have made more mana potions. Mana potions do I have anyway? Probably not a lot. Uh, Seventeen moderate. Yeah, got eleven normal healing. Okay, that's not bad. Not great, but it's not bad. Let's see, any more stuff? Hey, finally know Grace, how much uh, HP a Grave Spider has. But also by doing the dungeons again, like... I actually like that hunt system. Like, there's a huge amount of encouraging uh, replayability in this game. I just wish there was, like... Better ways for players to have their stats scale. That's a nasty group. That's a very nasty group. Alright, that was actually very useful. I've counter and actually use repost. And that'll actually kill you. Make things a whole lot easier. Or not. Okay. That's like that's how I've been this is how I've been playing. It's like, okay, great, I worked up my uh my burst meter. Or not burst meter, or work up my overcharge and then I use it. Execute. Wait, execute. Is that an attack? It is an attack. What's execute do? Deals 823 damage over 8 hits. The target is below 30%. Instead, deals 1000 damage. That is definitely an execute. Over 8 hits. That's actually interesting. The reason why, honestly, the reason why that's interesting is actually an item I just put on, um... Calibretto here, the Ring of Eternal Blue Flame. I got that from doing the dig a couple more times. It only gives bonus damage, but it has a 10% on chance on hit, dealing uh, 81 piercing magic damage. And that means every single hit. So, like, if I use Calibretto's Wildfire, it'll actually count. Hopefully killing this guy, this uh, boss, will be a lot easier now that I know I really should just be healing or spamming heroism with Gully. 
Because uh, keeping my health, sh uh, like, I'm going to be relying more on shield health. What's this do? Uh, I guess let's check that. Chance for critical strike is increased. That's very nice, actually. Let's go right where we left off. The red grave. Wonder, actually. Where are you? Where are you, you executioner? Okay, I apparently can't hit him. I'm just gonna use this right, right away. That's the one hard part about this fight is basically just trying to establish damage. Fist. And put on some heroism. Ooh, this is actually gonna be bad already. Uh you do your cleanse bomb. That actually works. Or not, apparently. I got really lucky there. I got really lucky there. Let's see. I think what actually would be a good one to use right now. Bleeding or poison? Ooh, I'm doing it. Poison weakness. Did I use the wrong ability? No, I didn't. I used the right ability. I need more heroism. What was I supposed to do a bleed? That really hurts. Yeah, now I'm on his level. I'm definitely on his level now. Goodbye. <laughs> Such a huge difference when you finally actually get the levels. Let's just hope that the other type of enemies in the actual dungeon aren't that aren't as difficult. Apparently I have... That was the wrong button. Why is 10? Well, either way, let's use the key. Go in here. You see a cane with the words WKK Esquire written on it. What do you do? And eh, we'll take the cane. The sarcophagus be uh, belongs to the deceased demon hunter Edric. The inscription implies he died during one of the purges during Caldeus's time, and that Caldeus escaped his justice. Sir Coat of Sir Edric. I'm guessing that's one of, uh, yep, that's Alamon's gear. Alright. That's actually a pretty good set of armor for him. What level is that armor anyway? Level 16, he can actually wear it right away. 
I should also take a moment to actually show that I also went out of my way and I enchanted Billy's gear. So she has more haste rating and uh, evade rating. I honestly don't know how, if too much of too much haste is a good thing or a bad thing in relation to the pa uh, pacing of this game. There's a spot I need to actually go back to. I need to actually go back to the Iron Outpost. Because I still have an item that will actually let me, um... Use this, uh, be used on that sarcophagus we encountered in, a, in one of our first streams. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go and take on the Dead Watch. So, gonna set the dungeon. Oh, I can continue the dungeon. Interesting. Uh, yes, because we made no progress. You know what? Since this is average as difficulty, why not? Let's do... Legendary is a difficulty mode uh, designed to challenge even most seasoned veterans. If your party is knocked out, dungeon will be... Oh, okay, so this is basically a first run check. Uh, sure. So, there's a difference, actually, if you do your runs in uh, a higher difficulty. Usually, like, the difficulty of dungeons are actually static. So, if you, like, come back to a dungeon at a higher level, you'll actually find, um... It won't actually be as difficult, because you have more of a perk point, you have a higher level, that sort of deal. Let's see. Drink from the Shrine of Battle! But also, the dungeon will be a little bit different as well. The dungeon's already naturally different. I should actually explain that. Who's blessing? That's not gonna help you, because a wild shot. I wish I had something that actually, like, um... It's something, like... Uh, I was up. Not in Double Sunder, okay. Let's see... Let me start... I have mana potions, at least. So basically, if you get knocked out, we'll have to do, do this entire dungeon. Which is... which is pretty bad, actually. I guess that's just your safe spot. Oh, that sounds lovely. Okay, that's from the, uh, that's from earlier. That's right away. Okay. I guess there is... I just can't tell if there's, like, too much... There's such a thing as too much haste in this... Chasers, Night War. 
created based off a comic by Joe Materia. It's a very entertaining game. A very difficult RPG. I know it may not look like it right now, but trust me, uh, this is very much on Darkest Dungeon level. Now, what do you have here? Unseen Bomb. Oh, you actually get another turn? No, he is just that fast. He is just that fast of a person. Apparently, Calibretto is just really, really slow in relation. Probably... Gee, what is the other one? Ooh, I could do Execute. Let's do Execute. I'm curious what that looks like. That looks pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, goody. More. S okay, I could just loot the sarcophaguses. Hearts. As the water rains from nowhere. As you approach the tombstone, mist swirls around your feet and you are surrounded by a dread that makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up. There are faint voices that encircle the tomb every few moments. Ask who's there. A voice coalesces with a myriad of sounds around you. It sounds like the whimpers and cries of a child. You reach your hand out of the tombstone, the spirits that surround the tombstone react and one of them speaks. Here, I don't want it, the child voice says. You hear tiny footsteps running away from you, but you can't tell which direction they're heading towards. Something appears in your hand. It's shade. Spirits have grown weary and no longer address you. Nothing to do here. Okay, loot the uh, sarcophagus here. And we'll be on our way. Let's see, Dester plans to raise an army, uh, an undead army in Deadwatch. We must find and stop her. I think if I bring Alamon into the group again, it's gonna have to be... Uh... Oh, I do not... Uh, Lazisa Revenge Strike when an ally dies. I do not like the sound of that. <laughs> nice knowing you, Avenger. That only did half HP. That only did half HP. What is Grape Digger? On death will haunt the hero that killed him. Okay, yeah, so that's what I have to last. Let's see. If I can get another shot off. Nope, probably not. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Hmm. Really don't want to use the mana already. Let's do this. And it blasts us a lot. Other really high move. We've seen rounds. I really should have healed, actually, with Calibretto. Oh well, won't matter. As long as he's dead. Good, he's dead. And we'll just 
get her evade up if he attacks her. Spine she. Yeah. Ow. Nope. Only way, actually. Well, this could work in my favor or not. It did. Nice. Cancel this attack. Swing's only going to give me. Barrier uh, swing's only going to give me that. Um, I need help. And we're just going to go for a net ass my, uh, assassination. Thunder, go for the ambush. Uh, actually, oh, do I get to go faster? I'll get to go immediately with that, but that's about it. Give another protection. Actually, what I do. Did I cast the wrong spell? I think I cast the wrong spell on her. Oh, that actually worked out. Oh wait, no, no, I know what it was. It was the, uh... It was his father. It was, uh... Yeah, Mantle of Aramis. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yes. Oh, that's dirty. All right, fine. And there, that's the solution. Now I'm kid. Oh, I can't go back. Oh. Never mind. They actually designed this intelligently. All right. So those two. Open it from this side? No, I cannot. Well, I have to open this. What? Or not? Hang on a second. Something tells me I have to do something here. I probably only open it from in. Okay. Wait, oh, there's a switch. Oh, I might. Duh. There we go. I know what I'm doing. This book has thin ancient pa uh, pages. It's open to a passage that reads, Life is but a prison, and there is only freedom in death. Uh huh. This is either going to work really well or really poorly. Do they all have. Why is only one of them marked death? There's only freedom in death. This is gonna be a bad idea. I don't know if that actually worked or not the way I hoped it would, but I'm glad I have Red Monica. <laughs> Ooh, an enchanting station. Oh, I've only had a lot of ingredients. That's not a bad idea right now. 
Let's see. Don't think I'll be able to actually do anything. Oh no, I could actually... I could make that an epic enchant. Uh, increases physical defense, increases crit rating. What else do I have? Increases attack power, just outright attack power. Oh, no, I can't use that one. That's level 21. Level 17. Juggernaut, keen weapon. Eh, actually, it's not a bad thing, actually. Crit is actually good for her. I've done most of this. By 212. Eh, something's better than nothing. There we go. And we put one more weapon here. Physical defense, bonus damage. Magic defense, haste rating. I think I can really do a lot with the cutting wind. What's his, what's Calibretto's stats anyway? He's got even defense and magic. Got a decent amount of crit, actually everyone has a decent amount of crit surprisingly enough. And a decent amount of haste too. Not a single hope of evading an attack, though. I could actually increase his, uh... Oh, well, how high can I increase his damage? That's one thing. 44, 52. Okay, not much. Probably should stick with one of these, then. Ninety-nine and fifty. Not great. We'll do probably stick with a level thirteen in chance here. Increases health and attack power. If only attacking was actually decent for him. That feels like such a throwaway, because that's where we currently are, so we have to, like, farm a lot of those. I don't really need to farm a lot of these. Only as the crits. What? There's actually, actually, you know, there's a chance of healing crits. And just increases stamina. The... It's the one thing that takes a lot more than I thought it would. Whoops. I could do like this. Fortitude. I'll probably replace the gun anyway in a little bit. And I probably need to probably upgrade their armor too, couldn't I? It's gonna be a little bit, a little while before I can actually. Oh, actually, her armor's already upgraded. Actually, I upgraded. I guess I upgraded both of theirs. Hang on, I'll be with you in a moment. Aid, increase the defense. I'll just do that with him. A lot of needle moss. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to fight. Hi guys, let's fight. Offensive wizard, I just hate you so much. I hate AOE attacks. I hate them so much in these games. That didn't kill him. That is actually very surprising. How much damage do you do now? 183. That's actually really good. But not enough to kill you. What the heck? Oh, 
both. Yeah, they both hit you. I actually do need to just kill him immediately. Never mind. Celebrity, you're scaring me, buddy. You are doing me a frightening. The only thing she can do is like go for a stun. You can heal next time, Calibroto. I'll find another way to heal you. Hopefully I start getting some money. You see an inscription that reads, Here lies Kabe uh, Suffin, a dirty dog through and through, lower than a snake and worse looking too. You peek inside the lid off the tomb and take a peek inside. You see a lot of cobwebs and bones. There's an icon with a crest bearing the Southern family name. Okay. Interesting. thorns. Oh, that's a very strong thorns. Very challenging dungeon. Ah, oh, the map. Excellent. Alright, how big is this map? Not that long. We're actually already halfway through. You stumble across a history book on Monda Sutton. Read experts from her diary or notes I can read a diary. Most of her diary is filled with descriptions of her prince charming that eludes her. She seems convinced that every man she meets is smitten with her, reading between the lines as she describes their interactions. It's apparent that it is not exactly the case. The historian makes it clear he would have preferred not to write the book in the foreword. Though she had lived in the way of money, she has, she lived an ostentatious lifestyle that drained uh, all of her suitors, is one of the lines. Why anyone would see fit to throw away four years of their life chasing her dreams is beyond this observer is another. I'm confused about what they really want me to do here. You 
pass by what happens to be an ordinary human skull. However, it turns your direct uh, it turns your direction and addresses you. Excuse me, excuse me, a moment of your time. You see, I seem to be in quite a situation here, chuckles politely. I have having been separated from the rest of my body, I could use your help. Hawking Skull, how original. How can I help you, Mr. Skull? Some very bad people sought to ruin me uh, ruin me in my before death and afterlife. They decapit decapitated me and buried my bones elsewhere. I'm not sure where they are, but if you help me put uh, put me back together again, I might just have something that you would find valuable. Will any bones do? What do you mean, will any bones do? Can I find some random animal bones and attach them to your skull? The skull sighs with heavy disappointment. Look. I have already suffered enough indignity as it is in the afterlife. I will not spend the rest of eternity here some concoction of human beast. Why, do you think you're so special with your limbs and all that? You ain't special. The skull makes a spitting sound and just in your direction, but no fluids comes out. My apologies. Okay, I guess I just have to be a cynic. Uh, okay, I guess I just don't have what he wants then. Oh. Come across an amorph amorphous aura of some being in the nether. Before the awe and majesty of an eternal spirit can overtake you, you hear a woman's voice. My oh my, it is quite the mess in here. Margaret, what are the servants doing? You can't discern any real facial features or motion. You get the sense she is leaning in toward you. Help these days, is, is it any wonder society still stands with people like these? You know you're dead, right? Well, of course I know that, but you never can tell when Prince Charming is going to drop by, can you? I can't see her, it sounds like she's fussing with a fancy skirt. Oh, forgive me. My name is Manda, pleased to meet you. If she were, if she were her, uh, her hand would be extended for a kiss. You'd do anything for a lady, right? I have something you can take care of for me. Her tone sounds more demanding than the question of you. I have a brother, Kabe. Coffin you may have seen nearby. Daddy made sure he had the cheapest one available. He really was the worst of us. If I had my way, his family icon would be ruined, so that a spirit can twist in the ever after. Would you be willing to help? Tell me more. Rather simple. Find the coffin, deface the icon. Need I say more? Come back hereafter and I'll give you my prize medallion. What do you say? I'm gonna leave and something tells me I'll, I'm going to get the same offer. Yep, uh, same eye. You come across the amorphous aura, the man's voice jumps out. Hey folks, how's the day treating you? The name's Kaveh, Kaveh Sud uh, Southern. I'm the best cattle rancher this side of the river. Got a keen mind for business, too. A place to do business. Kaveh lets a loud, hearty guffaw. True, business is slow, just giving you my credentials. If it was possible to hear a wink, you would have. Now that we're introduced, I seem to have a problem, a bit awkward one. It's my sister, sad to say. My sister, Manda, is a real snake. She's had it out for me since, oh, birth. I never did her wrong, at least to my mind. I always paid her back, mostly. She picked on me, stole from me, lied to me. Friends of mine most just became her pets. Now I'm guessing she'd like to make my ever, ever after a miserable one. You're my kind of bunch. Deface her icon in the mortal world, then head back. I'll be waiting. And, uh, by the way, don't believe anything Manda says. She'll probably try and give... Oh wait, that cursed necklace of hers. I got one that won't haunt your nightmares, and some armor to boot. How about it? Yeah, sure. Let's probably just deface both of their icons. I wonder if I can actually just deface his now. Tomb. Nope, oh, okay. So I guess it's only if I accept the option. Tomb. Deface the icon. 
You take the icon out and make several deep scratches in it, ruin, ruining the wards it contains. You hear something like a faint gasp as you do. Something tells me she probably just became a boss. Let's see if she's still here. Nope, she's gone. Ah, a job well done. She made my life miserable. Makes me proud to return the favor here in the nether. Oh, you expected something in return? Aren't you the easy ones? <laughs> I should have shook my hand on it. <laughs> I'm not giving you the sand off my boots. And if you know what's good for you, you'll leave here as fast as you can. Avi speaks, his voice gets deeper and more resonant, clearly threatening. Looks like it was a scam. Jerk. Oh, well. Lessons have been learned. Actually, I wonder now. Can I deface this tomb? I want to deface this tomb now. Nope. Oh well. At least when I do the dungeon again, which is something tells me I probably will have to. I'll just do it the other way. Hey, I remember this room. This is a terrible room. Help wait, what? Skull of Lord Caldeus feels uneasy in your mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's definitely one way to make it feel uneasy. Hey, here's that terrible person. He found his skull in a random bone pile. Right, yeah, I definitely have to actually use the dead heart. Barrier appears around the altar. Oh, that sucks. Or I could just run into random enemies. Lovely. these guys in one swoop. Before they, yep, before they chain all together, they're still spawning. Oh, he's a higher level. How much for having a higher level? <laughs> I wonder what Red Monica's crit is at, actually. Oh my god, that was a lot of enemies. Well. Hmm. Interesting options. Very interesting options. Nice, that's even better. Oh, sorry. Time for the repost. Actually, no, I'm just gonna heal myself. Did she really get two moves? Oh no, she doesn't. Okay, I was about to say, wait a minute. Stun? Nope. I'm always hoping for the stun. The stun is super, is pretty much very powerful. Let's see. This actually. Let's have a shield on everyone. 
are dead. Next wave. Shield. That taunt's gonna run out. At least their attacks increase. I actually love that. I actually like that part. Just slowly and slowly become stronger. And oh no! Uh, let's do this. I'll kill it. Did he just scream? I don't know why he screamed, but he's screaming. Shatter adds a Sunder ability. That's, that's actually pretty nice. I guess if I just jab, yep, I just jab. Healing touch. That just kills it. There you go, and that takes it away. Yeah. Hopefully, that killed everything. And we also got the preemptive. Barrier fades. Hello, what's this? I think from the Shrine of Energy, sure. As long as I don't have to run into any of those gigantic enemies. So those Executioner guys really sucked. You come across a sarcophagus with unusually large bones. Something compels you to take them. You don't know why. After all, it's not like anyone's going to need them, right? Might as well be yours. You take the bones like some sort of grave robber. Vaguely, you remember some lesson about uh, your parents tried to teach you about stealing. That doesn't seem important anymore. The bones look fragile and brittle, and doubt they'd survive the trip out of Dead Watch. Ah, well, that's... I mean, he tells me I know whose bones these belong to. Actually, I have some bones right here. Yes, finally, some progress. Let's begin. First things first, we should work from the neck down. After all, you can't attach a leg to nothing. Uh, attach his torso and arms. Take the rib cage and arm you found in place and gently hoist into place. By some form of magic, the skull snaps right uh, right onto it. Oh, well, would you look at that? It worked! Hmm, it looks like an arm went missing somewhere. Oh well, it is no matter. So now that now that we have my upper half, that only leaves the other half. Uh, attach his lower half. You move the pelvis in place, the skull starts commenting on how bad you are at your task. And how he could do it better. In fact, almost anyone else could do it better. Eventually, all his lower half is restored. Ha! Huh, foolish mortal. Now that I'm whole again, I, un I can unleash a destruction upon this world. You will be the first to die. Behold the power of uh, Vaxius Wren. Behold my true power. Uh, Urk, I can't move. You can tell Vaxius exerted some effort, but did not move or do anything at all. Huh, that's odd. 
Why can't I move? Oh, I'm missing ligaments and muscles. Right. But other skeletons can move. Not fair. How can how come can they how come they can? As he speaks, you notice a bright glowing object shining in his ribcage. What's that? Oh, that's my Italian of pa uh, I mean my cursed keepsake. It causes any uh, causes anyone except me to lose most of their intelligence sensibilities. I guess it wouldn't affect you much. No, don't! Vaxius tries to stop you, but you can't. It's like taking candy from a, a skeleton. As you pocket the gem, the skeleton falls back onto the table. Now actually lifeless. Chain of false life. Well, Vaxius, it was nice knowing you. What do you have here? That is a hundred percent. That is an all stamina necklace. Wow, that is. That is a lot of health. That is. It's tempting, but at the same time. Actually, you know what? He doesn't really need it. Here, you don't need crit. Well, I guess you do have crit heals, but still. In relation to wearing an item that gives you a lot of crit and a lot of stamina and just giving you more health, I'd rather have him have more health. Cause that was the one, that was the one thing Dark's Dungeon did uh, intelligently, but also it was also very it was a very hard balance, which was uh, making sure your team would actually have enough health. Great bone charge. Huh. As Varus' army was slowly taken to pe uh, taken to uh, taken to pieces, the masters of book learned killing his men wouldn't be enough. His mages had the power to return them from the dead. They reused their corpses as tools of death even after breath had left them. The only way to end the threat completely was to find the burial sites and ward them from resurrection. Many of these sites eluded discovery for decades. We have found small cemeteries where many were buried, but history has told of a great site where the majority of his fallen men were put to rest, however temporary. I cannot stop until it is found. The Order has given me this task, and, the, and as a master of the flame, the light of the torch shall leave me. Archon. Interesting. Fight these light, uh, light a lot. Now, let's do Wild Shot. There we go, that gets rid of your stealth. That will actually leave me... ...some room. Actually, no, what I can do is this. It's gonna be very painful, but if it works, it works and it's gonna be awesome. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I can decrease his attack, and then I can ambush him. He's pretty much dead. Let's see. Oh good, I can actually get that dog. Might have everyone at full health now. Eh, close enough. That's a fine overkilling. Lightning. Good, good to know. Oh, 
or rare parts. actually try and use some of these. Can I even use the oil or anything? Sparkling green liquid. No, I guess I can only eat the bar food. Oh. Um, what was that? Strange. Yeah, I don't trust this hallway at all. They're all gonna come to luck. Come on, you do not belong here. You take that which is not yours. The dead heart is pulling us in. Dead and living, living and dead. These realms are not your mere plaything, mortal. You own the dead heart, but you do not understand it. It does not belong to you. You'll never take it. Oh. Alright, no holding back. Deals 173 magic damage to all heroes each turn. So, no chances on stealth. That's going to be very painful. That's going to be very painful. Yep, it stacks. That hurts like a thing. Hopefully that'll actually make a diff bit of difference. It's not like there's no point of actually even doing um doing the normal one. It does more that actually does more damage. Oh, that is a really good ability.
purify this again. Guard Staff of Markron. Alright. We're not even halfway done with this dungeon. Two of three. Time Warp, the ultimate magic. Alcazar developed the great beginnings of the Time Warp spell in the great mana halls here. There, with access to countless tomes of knowledge, he learned to condense the multiple castings of ordinary spells into a single shorter one. After years of failure, he found some success, double casting a fireball spell before being left out of the halls by his peers. I cannot believe he spent th uh, such time learning to, uh, learning to cast two fireballs in the span of one regular cast. That's actually pretty impressive. The humiliation caused him to seek a, a broader approach. Instead of double casting a single spell, he would seek to cast a combination of many different spells at once. At the bottom of the page are several incantations regarding time warp. Though they are incomplete. Ooh, that's actually very useful because that is towards Nolan's uh, third uh, battle burst ability. I think it is actually. Should be. Uh, yes, it is. So, we need to go Dead Watch, and then the rest of it is in Strongmont. That's apparently in the Moors, wherever that is. I'm surprised I'm not finding, like, any, uh... Okay. Alright. That... This is gonna be one of those... This is gonna be one of those dungeons, is, uh... Moments, isn't it? Switch. Is that... Back to this... Take the stuff. Find an enemy. <laughs> One hit wonder. Not a lot of experience, but hey. Area, you detect a faint aura of some living being. Though you can't make out anything about who or what it is, you can tell it is clearly suffering. You see a wounded bandit clutching his side, weak with weir uh, weak and weary with pain. Should have been an easy scar. Should have known better. Let's help him. Try to help him with anything you can. Herbs, potions, magic, nothing seems to work. The bandit, knowing it's over, waves you away. A little too late, but better than nothing. He takes a few last breaths and looks around peacefully. His head falls and his eyes closed. He is dead. Rest in peace. So why did I need the gate? Oh, okay. Oh! Alright, that's a new spin on things. I'm surprised I haven't found a compass yet. I have failed. Ferris sent me one of his mightiest champions and I was unable to resurrect him. When he first took me on, he was an aggressive leader, but ultimately fair. Something is happening. However, his power is waning, and with it his sanity. Destra has begun visiting those who failed to live up to their calling. Those visits do not go well. 
I expect I am next on her list. Knowing this, I could resign myself to fate and wait for death. That's not how I live my life. I do plan to keep living. I leave tomorrow at first light, and with my departure, the flood of undead pouring out of Deadwatch will cease. I'll count that as a small moral victory, should Varus remain sane enough to notice. Archbishop Felton. Failure of Light. Actually curious, how many logs are actually in this? And the dead watch. Wow, I have not found any of them. Oh well, at least that's why there's multiple expeditions. Trying to experience, sure. A little late, but better than never. Oh, that is. Come on, come here, you. Oh, I think it attached. Yep, it attached. That sucks. Ooh. I actually don't know who to kill first here. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm not holding back on this fight, that's for certain. Do this immediately. What? Oh, it's every every time it's his turn. Okay, maybe I should have killed the other one. Wow, that's, this is kind of a crap game. All right. Uh, let's see. Sundered are bleeding. Stack though. More crits, please, more crits. Oh, she survived this. Thank goodness she missed. Bleeding debuff, that works. Let's see here. Cripple. Oh, goody. <gasps> right, I forgot about that. Oh crap. Returns. No, I know what to do. Let's move on. Nope, not even gonna deal with that. That's with attack down. Alright. <laughs> Just to get the damage in, the poison.
healing. Oh, what's her order? Actually, not bad. You know what? I'm just gonna go all in. I might as well just go all in. To do purify. to do here. It's like, actually, no, I can't do something. It just reduces damage. I'll have to have Monica do Cleanse Bomb. I am definitely gonna have to be using Meta uh, now. Well, since we can, I'm going to use Wildfire. Oh, that's a brutal... That was a brutal fight. Four perk points, and more perks to unlock. 1,009, uh, what's 596? Let's, let's see here. AP rank by 3. An Avenger increases attack power by 50% for 3 actions when an ally falls in battle. And Guardian, last resort. When health falls below 30%, gain damage shield, absorbing 358 damage. That's not a lot. Brazilian increases physical and magic defense by 28%. Ooh, that is good. That actually is worth it easily. As that that's an easy. That's an easy answer actually for that. Cuz guardian overcharge, it's nice, but it's not It's probably noticeable in small uh bundles. And since they actually looked up how close is she actually leveling up? He's actually very close to leveling up, but I still want to give her a mana potion. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to use these. There we go. Perfect. Let us grab. I want that compass, but it's running away. I hate you, mages. Uh, she fast enough to do a guard punch. Yes, she is. There we go. Okay, she got a full heal. Although that actually didn't really matter now that I think about it. Alright, give me that compass. Caught a surveyor. What did I miss? There are apparently enemies. I missed enemies. And that was it, actually. Stuff here, though. Shadowy runes run alongside this crucible, forming patterns and words in a forgotten language. It looks like ore can be refined into ignits here more efficiently. However, it looks dangerous, and you are no blacksmith. Still, there is powerful dark energy emanating from it. It could prove useful. Sure. Succeeded in making an ignorant. You also create some shadowy residue. Ooh. Uh, sure. Oh, 
Fire in the Forge has gone out. You can't make any more ignorance. There's nothing left to do. That was interesting. We used to forge powerful weapons and armor. What did I learn? Shadowy Sorcerer's Rune Staff. That's really good. Shadowy Rune Carved Leather. That's also really good. Shadowy Nature. Oh, I need these pure mithril ingots, so if I actually want to use them, I'll need to actually do multiple trips. Unless I can actually make them myself. Uh, pure mithril. Oh, I still need shadow residue. I still would need that. Wait, wasn't there armor? Oh, shadowy's nature's mender. Pure mithril ingots. Ah, oh, yeah, I guess I can make it myself. However, I need black di- apparently I need black diamonds. I have no idea where to get black diamonds, though. I thought there was something else I would have gotten. Oh, okay. So everyone did actually get something. Ruined, carved leather. No, they were all called shadowy, weren't they? What did I miss? I guess those are just the weapons, then. Alright. Keep booking it. Okay. I guess. Yep. Okay. You have to go all the way around. Parts. Now I don't know which way is which. Is this the only way? Quickly, which way to the exit? Let's try this way. Lost soul hails you. It's me. I was a wounded man you helped a bit ago. I look a bit, little different now. You didn't have to help me, but you did. Here, I have something for you. It's yours. Oh, thanks, dude. Gonna give me a mimic? Oh. Come for it. Iron skid plus. Manatite plating. Is that an epic version? Oh, I've been enchanted. It's just the epic version of it. Off. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the blue then. For now. Okay, so I guess the other way was the puzzle. Oh, you battle. Yep, battle. It's time for battle. Oh, you won't. Ah, oh, what a waste of our experience, Bob. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's actually go back. Those, yeah, that was the other one. On to take care of that puzzle. Aha! Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, I think I know what to do. Hopefully. Hopefully, it's more or less automatic. It's like, here you go. Uh, what's this do? That. Oh, I guess they both just do that. I think what I want. This. I 
Nope, had it completely wrong. Oh wait, no, I had it right. What am I doing? That's actually a nice little tell. Having the shadows. Apparently there's also a fishing spot here, and still stuff I wasn't able I didn't grab. What the heck? Seriously? Oh well, I'm not gonna focus thread o uh thread over it. Oh, okay, she does a kiss. Okay. That's her pickpocket ability. Right. There's... Oh! Oh, I just... Okay, there's the fishing spot. I just got out. And these are probably the plants. Yep. There we go. Now we're on the next area. <laughs> oh, I can steal items, too. I don't know how I stole his, his fang, but okay. I don't want him to do revenge strike, so for now, we will be doing this. yelling at me. Okay. Ooh, stun. Nice. That'd be a better thing. Let's see the piercing rounds. Not a lot of damage, honestly. 289. Eh, let me just do this again. Alright, that's good. Nice, nice, wonderful crit. Rattlebone does splash. It does nothing. Let's kill the giant gray spider. Okay, that actually sucked. Steal items too. I 
actually. Nice touch. Barometrax Rising. Can only do so much. Word of my work travels quickly, it seems. Varus has begun sending his most important slain to us here at the southern point. Now known colloquially, uh, colloquially as Dead Watch, thanks to my success. If I had noted one weakness in my practice, it's in raising those who were killed by the hands of the truly uh, righteous. Light rejects light in these cases. Fortunately, this has only proven a problem when Varus's warriors are slain by paladins of unified territories. Who apparently fight with a holy ferocity we haven't experienced on the Crescent Isle. Varus delivered one of his greatest generals, of Veramatrax, into, into my sense. He was slain by a paladin one fortnight ago. He was most insistent that this man be called into service, swearing to his might and importance. Difficult, but I'll make it work. He didn't make it work. There's a blacksmith here, apparently. Only it was that easy. Actually, it might be that easy. We got some focus from that. I probably should instead of be doing guard punches and do um, the attack down. Because I can actually do that now. Well, I guess he does actually. It brings me a question like, what's more important? Is it the. Is it upping your total defense or decreasing enemy attack? That's the big thing. Yeah. Oh, the boss is some. What am I saying? The boss is probably really difficult. I'm probably gonna die to the boss. Smith is probably over here somewhere. Nope. It's over here. Epic, a legendary chest. Fire heart pressures. I'm guessing that's, yep, that's actually what I have on right now. I could not imagine doing this with level 13 gear. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you get discovered if you pick up. Alright, that actually makes sense. Uh, we should probably actually just kill him as quickly as possible. Away, bombs away. Poison bomb. I 
hate that double tap. I wonder why that's set up that way. Try, try Really? That's the one? Distracting shot, repost. Now let's just get the buffer. Spike for some reason. Uh, no, that would actually be really bad. Yeah, that's actually one of the times. Just doing the. I mean, stealth would actually be. Uh... Or doing the ambush is better. I don't know why I didn't defend. That was actually very dumb. Steal from the bombers to get her, uh, her legendary. Yep. Yeah, so whatever's in the mausoleum below is the boss. Realizing Venom. That's... that's gonna kill her. Or kill the Griff Spray Spider. I want whatever. I guess I shouldn't have to worry about, uh, I shouldn't worry about defense then. She can try something. Tattered Iron Eye. I like the stealing. I'll admit that. I'm always a sucker for stealing in a lot of games. Also, I just realized he's alone. So whatever happened to his friends... I'll never know. I'm so glad that actually misses. How much damage? 316? How much does a repose do now? 316. So basically, there's now no difference between doing a wild. Well, I guess there is a difference between doing a wild shot. No, please don't use Bolter Toss. So far, that has proven not to be a good attack. I'm 
glad they actually, like, I looked into the Kickstarter. And I'm actually glad they got, um, some of the, um... They got some of the, uh... Some of the game voice acted. Because apparently they, like, got in post over the million. Ten percent per stack. I don't know why she already has. Probably not. Attack off. That wasn't good. Does it stack? It does not stack, unfortunately. That's a shame. Alright. to use a healing potion. <laughs> or quite a few healing potions. Actually, no, no I won't. The boss always gets a full heal room. I always forget that. Apparently there's still a journal. Ah. Veramatrax rising. There is a problem. Veramatra uh, Veramatrax, or Trix, must have been in quite a battle. The holy mark left on his aura is palpable. Cannot seem to affect it in my traditional way. It hasn't budged, hasn't twitched since I began my rituals. Ferris has sent repeated notes insisting that this very very man return to the front lines of battle one way or another. The obnoxious underling Destra continues to stir controversy over my methods. Whining incessantly about sticking to the roots of necromancy, I have no ear for it. At this point, to say failure isn't an option would be falling well short of an understatement. I shall double my efforts or consume myself trying. Thank goodness that pause before that lightning bolt strikes. Necromancy is a fickle thing, I've heard. Too much life uh, back in the dead. As the, and they return as mindless stumbling ghouls, as, as likely to pick up a sword as they are to gnaw on their own limbs. Too little and they become a charred, hopeless mess. The problem? Attempting to inject life through dark means. This is where I have found my calling. Light can be twisted into darkness by casting it against the right foils. Doing so, the resurrected become more... useful. While still obeying orders like the best undead soldier should. Necromancy through light is more malleable, more forgiving. Bearer shall be pleased indeed. It's everything. Unless there's... Yeah, that's actually surprising. So I guess they don't put in enough, um... Surprised that actually resets every time, and I really shouldn't be standing outside when there's lightning to be uh, lightning striking. Like it won't actually give you enough to uh, undo everything. And this just leads more stuff. Hello. I. A lich stands before you. Ah, yes, it is you, the one who freed me from my prison in the outpost. You didn't quite understand what you were doing, did you? It isn't important. My name is Lord Bel uh, Belveros. I was imprisoned there for a hundred years. I never did reward, uh, reward you for your help. Yes, you will make a nice addition to my undead army, but first you have to die. I may even make you a general if you're obedient and, uh, enough. No, I'm not joining you. It is time then. I promise not to let any part of your body go to waste. Great. Oh, that's not good. Well, that's not. That definitely is not good at all. Reduces damage 15% as long as the Skeleton Guardian is alive. Alright, let's 
see how much damage a Risen Guardian does then. Ooh, he has a lot of health. He has a lot of health. Fine. It's also somewhat okay. I just need to get her health up. Death, the Lich is linked to his allies' forces, which is severed, giving massive damage to them all. I'm guessing he can resurrect everyone. Fight so many bosses in this game or in this dungeon. Not normal. Yep, I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that. I guess he. Oh, that would make sense. He doesn't bleed because, well. Not alive. Let's do some sundering. That's what he did. Well, that's a shame. It's not gonna help you. So kill him. Under. No, I don't want to waste burst. He's almost dead anyway. Man, he really hates Gully. Also, that steals health, I just noticed. Alright, fine. <laughs> nope, I'm using the burst. We're ending this fight. Dragon Heart by Lars Lactory. Lactory. My palette and armor with an enchantment and a heart of darkness. Inscription beneath the statue. Here lies Lord Belavros, fearless commander and soldier. In honor's service of the Iron Out Outpost, may she never fall. Oh. Well. Sorry, she fell. Too bad. Costly battle, though. 
Very costly, actually. What did I get on that? An ancient relic formed from the heart of a dragon. This Phylar's uh, lecture, lectory was used by the Lich Belavros, the tool of necromancy. On his death, his link to the Phylar's lectory was severed, leaving only the heart behind. Gauntlets, and that's the potions. What's this? High Paladin Armor. Armor of High Pal Martial Paladin. Grants wearer energy to fight off his foes. Generate 10 overcharge each turn. Ooh. Wait, that's actually really good armor. And only because that's a lot of magic defense. And also getting overcharge every turn is really good. Yes, please restore all my stuff. Alright. Actually, why not? Since I have the items, that's the wrong direction. Let's see. Yeah, what does this do again? I forgot what they do. Hang on, me. Check what my consumables do. What's this? Uh. Crappy cheese. That's some pie. Warriors of Varus, hear me. Rise and take the blade once more for your master. Good. Wait, he was marked, wasn't he? Yeah, only his unholy strike. not check what his buff was. Soul Link. Damage dealt to champions split among his allies. Okay. His debuffs. She has a lot of debuffs. Get rid of that. proposition here. Because I can't bleed. I can't bleed the living. I should just do this. I should get rid of it. Let's just get that punch off. Smart. 
littering. Yeah, this is not working out as I hoped it would. Look at this. It's not that it's gone. Yes, he can bleed. I'm gonna guess he summons a bunch of enemies. Blinds myself. Get rid of that debuff. Wow, that does not affect his damage output at all. Is this under for you? Unholy pauldron. Impressive, truly. I'd say the champion's death was a waste. You'll make fine replacements. I just have to kill you first. Lich, you'll raise no more armies. See now, Destra's powers are greater than I anticipated, and that coming here was a mistake. A mistake? I fought Destra before. This time, the magic is different. She's meddling with forces that are beyond Varus. Demon magic. So we may now be facing a demon. In ages past. Defending this very island from invasion and facing defeat, Varus was tempted by the blood god Kadral. At the appointed time, Varus was to return to Kadral and become his living vessel forever, setting the demon free. Varus never returned, and so he was cursed by the demon. He withered, his powers waned. Destra must be exploiting her master's disappearance for her own gain. You said coming here was a mistake. This was a simple distraction. She lured us here. Why? Perhaps her attention is on something greater. Vargas the Defiler in nearby Strongmont. Strongmont? Defiler? Strongmont was a defensive fortification built on the southeastern tip of the isle. One of Varus's most powerful generals, Barkas, was stationed there to defend against naval attacks from the east. It was there Barkas grew in strength, fed by Varus, and there he was put to death, his demon-twisted spirit trapped. While imprisoned, he actually grew in power, making it harder and harder to contain him. Destra will want him, and with Kadral helping, she can have him. We'll be ready for her this time. To Strongman, then. Whether I'm right or wrong, Vargas cannot be set free. 
Alrighty. Well, that's not good. Well, now that I've actually completely unleashed my potential, I'm actually glad I did. Because my goodness, that was difficult. Let's get out of here. Can we get out of here? We're about done for tonight. Past. Is that? No, I want those herbs. Materials are always nice to have. Plus, there's a Lysolot but uh, bomber we need to kill. Kill the bomber. We got the slime. I wonder if I unlocked, uh... Unlocked her battle first. Because the only thing it says is just go kill Light Slot Bombers. It's a repose. A little poison never hurts anyone. Close to level 21. Probably actually prepare all their all their gear sets. Assuming I have enough materials, actually. <clears throat> I might do some playing offline if I have the time to power them up again. To take on the next area. So that is definitely one thing I've noticed. That only go. Yep, that only goes that way. So I have to fight him regardless. No choice in the matter. We'll just collect the stuff here and then we can head to town. So collecting materials is very important. Thank goodness that red is well misses each time. Probably should have done double punch. But now that I have so much health, I'm not really afraid of a lot of enemies in this area. Oh, okay, now I'm afraid of them. No. You don't get to do your revenge strike. Do not avenge the slime. Plus, it would also be nice to have all the hunts done in the area. That, or make a little more. One fang mushroom. I know I probably could just teleport all the way back, but... I think it's just better this way. Definitely, this this is one of those games where you definitely don't want to turn down any experience you get. Gravity Punch. 
Ooh, I wonder what Gravity Punch does. Let's take a look. Gravity Punch. 15 mana, fast, deals 5% of an enemy's remaining HP plus 484 damage. <sighs> remaining HP? Have to think about that, how that's actually worded. Worded a bit strange. I have to fight it. Well, no better time like the present to actually try it out. Although it's probably gonna have less than 400. Yep, it's gonna have less than that, but we can actually see how much damage it can do. Gravity Punch! I'm used to like hearing things like, oh, it does 5% of current HP or something of that or something of that equivalent. Not the case, we can go check the blacksmith. And because we can. Come on, grab it, grab it. I still make minor mana potions for cheap. How much money did we get? Almost at 10,000, that is a lot of money. One thing I wanted to check before we end tonight was actually check with Raw. You're alive. Let's see. I don't think. No. Yes. I didn't, didn't kill a dozen. But I can also get the armor here. The Hangman Smock. Yeah. Although it's not going to do us any good. Ancient weapon? Oh, and Strong Mount. Destructive duo for mass ruckus. That's a lot of bonus damage, and that's a greater tome. So that's Sun actually on the blade. He'll be back. If only they gave me that a little bit sooner. That would have been a lot better. Yeah, trying to take on that hangman at level thirteen. Like, I think now I realize I shouldn't be going, um, so easy on boss fights and stuff. Trying to be super efficient. I'm still here. Uh, with all my, with my gear. Which, do you have any more books or anything? No, it doesn't look like any books. You're back. Well, that's all. But you, do you have anything Very nice. Yes. New potions from you. And finally. The flame still burns. Nope, nothing. Hey there. Any luck finding more about Time Warp Nolan? Not yet still searching. Greetings, the night is dark. Okay, doesn't look like anyone else in harm's way needs me. But that's going to be for me tonight. Tomorrow we'll take on Continue the Song. Looks like we're heading further south. Like I said, I might play a little bit offline just to kind of gear up my guys for the area and such because uh, this game is starting to not... It's starting to say it's like, hey, you better actually use the resources that we're giving you in this game. I plan to do so with great earnest. But as for streaming, let's see who's going on right now. Looks like right now... Exposure's streaming. He's actually going over Resident Evil 7, uh, Resident Evil 7's DLC. Give him an actual, I'll give him the host for the night here, so go check him out. He's a very calm, or like, uh, calm, chill streamer. I'm not a huge fan of horror myself, but he enjoys, he enjoys the Resident Evil series greatly. But, that's gonna be it for me tonight, though. Thank you very much for watching. Until then, take care.